guys, it's Jessie. Today, my mom and I are going to be painting the kitchen cabinets again. We're gonna give them a little remodel. We are going from a like slightly, like a light blue, sky blue kind of color to a dark, really nice, like navy, just very rich and beautiful with a little bit of dark wax. We are using our favorite product, Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. So stay tuned. We did do our old kitchen, so I will link that below too if you want to check that one out. And again, we're gonna kind of just run through everything we do today just real quickly and then I'll leave a full description of everything down below including colors, um, how many paint cans, like all that good stuff. So definitely stay tuned. I really think this is going to transform our kitchen into this something that's more of our dream kitchen um, and we're definitely going to check out the top cabinets. We are going to possibly make them white and do everything nice and bright on the top half and a little darker on the bottom. And I really think it's gonna help make this kitchen look even more open and airy than it already is. So I'm very excited. So here we go, guys. So I just wanted to give you guys a little before and after. So this is this side of the kitchen and then it does wrap around into this really great, let me see if I can get that all fitted in here. Big cabinets there. Um, so the first step is we're gonna remove all the handles and get those off and then I think we're just gonna go straight into painting and we're gonna get the blue on and we're gonna do a test of the white for the top. So stay tuned. This is gonna be so exciting and I think it's gonna look fantastic. I can't wait. All right, just a quick update. So I had found the Abuse in Blue on a Pinterest board that I really liked and really wanted to do it. However, this is the blue. It's definitely more teal and not as navy blue or a dark blue as I thought. So we kind of stopped there and we are in the process of trying to grab the Napoleon, I believe is what it's called, blue, instead of this Abusin, which is a beautiful color, it's just not for the kitchen. So I guess we're gonna try the white over here. We did kind of run into a snag with that as well. But up here, if we were to paint this side blue, so I'm just gonna, you know, this would all be blue. And then we're gonna attempt to make all this top white. So what do we do with the two different crown moldings? Do we go two different colors or? Yeah, so now we may end up just doing the whole kitchen in blue because we're not sure if that's gonna look funky or not. So we're definitely gonna test it and see how that goes. All right, so we are using an old white and we're testing it out. So far I like it, but it's gonna take at least another coat or two to make sure that it is white white, but it's looking pretty good. And then over here, we have a small tested swatch of the Napoleonic blue. And here's mom. Getting some work done and it looks so much better than the color we originally had, so yay. I did want to point out one thing really quick. Um, I know we talked about possibly just doing the entire cabinets blue because we weren't sure how this corner was gonna look. Um, and we kind of left it this way because from the front we liked that this was all a cohesive side. Um, but then from the other kind of angle we saw that this just kind of looks goofy. So we are gonna wrap this blue clear to this corner here and then um, just kind of keep going with what we've got. So we did do the white on top and it's looking really, really good. I know I was a little concerned with this coloring on the, the wall up top, but it actually looks really good. Um, the white subway tiles really pop, the counters are starting to pop, and then the wood floor looks even more amazing now with these cabinets. So we're really loving it, and like I said, just gotta get that second coat on and um, the clear wax, so here we go.
All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the finished kitchen, and then I will leave you with a before and after. I am so happy with the way that the kitchen turned out, and I can't wait to start decorating and getting it all pulled together, and just those final touches, but I'm loving the cabinets and the look that we went for, so I am so glad that we took the challenge, did a bold look in the kitchen, because it really pulls out the floors and everything, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna give you guys the last little final tour here. All right guys, so I'm gonna start you over here on the pantry side of things. Um, we did the Napoleonic Blue from Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. We absolutely love Annie Sloan Chalk Paint and highly recommend it. We've done multiple kitchens so far with it, two of my own, um, and just have had some really good luck with it. So the texture is really nice. You have to just keep in mind that it is not going to be smooth and perfect but it is actually just really gorgeous. We did a clear wax first to seal it and then a dark wax kind of around these edgings here and just to kind of allow that um, to pop. And then we did brush a little bit in the centers there as well. And as we swing through the rest of the kitchen, you'll see that we did decide to go with that bright white. It is Old White by Annie Sloan. And this one we did do three coats as well, I believe just because it was a little see-through with some of that blue and the whites kind of difficult to get it to go on um, pretty clean looking. So it did take a little bit there. Um, and I am so excited that we did the, the blue on bottom and the white on top. And I love that it makes these wood floors really pop along with some of the appliances and the subway tiles really just pop now. So we're just in love with everything. Kind of spin you guys around so you can see the other side. So now we're just really excited to get to decorate it now. And we are gonna use pops of copper, which we actually do have a few pieces that are starting to be pulled in, but we have a long way to go before this is completed, but we love the paint job and we finally get to move things into the kitchen. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.